Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. Here's a quick video on how to make animations editable and remove the read-only tag, and also related to that, how to edit humanoid animations. So for example, one place where you might get some animations is from Mixamo. I covered that process in detail in another video. It's a great place to get free characters and animations. And when you download them, you get an FBX file. For example, here I've got that file, and inside that file we have the animation. So you can use these animations, for example, on a character, just drag them out to the animator controller, and then it can easily preview the animation. So it works fine, however, sometimes those animations might have some slight issues that need changing, or you might just want to change something. Like for example, let's say I want to cut out some frames to make this animation a bit snappier. So I can select a bunch of frames, then right click, and nope, I cannot delete any keys. And if you look over here on the animation selector drop down menu, over here, this animation is marked as read only. That is why I cannot delete keys, I cannot move any keys, I cannot do anything. Basically, this animation file is completely unlocked, and the reason for that is because the animation file is inside an FBX file. So the only way to modify this animation would be to load the FBX file in a program sort of like Blender and edit in there. However, here in Unity, we can also modify this and essentially make the animation editable. It's super simple, you just select the animation, then you can duplicate it. So either press Ctrl D or go up here into Edit and then Duplicate. And when you do that, here is the same animation file, but now it's no longer inside the FBX. Now it's outside as a completely separate file. Now you can drag this same animation onto the animator. So there you go, now there are two animations. And looking over here in the animator, if I select it, yep, there you go, now I've got one that's read-only and one that is modifiable. So now this one, I can do whatever I want. So for example, I can delete a whole bunch of keyframes, just delete them, push the other ones back so I can edit it, and yep, there you go, the animation now works much better. So this is how you can take a read-only animation and make it editable. And just one more quick thing related to animations, specifically humanoid animations. You might now want to take this animation and modify some of these bones positions. However, when dealing specifically with humanoid animations, you cannot do that inside Unity. Unity does not have built-in support for humanoid animation editing. So if you're in the scene view, if I try to grab one of these bones, so let's say I grab the spine bone, I hit on record, and I try to move the spine, and then I go back, and nope, it did not change. So whatever I try doing, I cannot record a brand new animation, it does not record. Although, technically, you can actually do it. Over here on the animation, you can see all of the body parts. So for example, the chest twist. So the only way that it does work is over here modifying this field. So you can modify it like this, and there you go, that does save that keyframe. However, having to modify each individual muscle setting, doing that is pretty much unusable. It's a pretty bad animation workflow. So if you really want to edit and modify a humanoid animation, you need to load it into an external program, sort of like Blender. Or alternatively, if you really, really want to do it inside Unity, there are some packages on the SS Store to let you do that. For example, here's one that I picked up to try it out. It's called the Umotion. It's a pretty great asset with tons of animation tools. I picked it up in the last asset Store sale. It features IK and FK, timeline integration, mocap data, a massive amount of video tutorials to learn how to use it, and of course, like I said, it lets you edit humanoid animations inside Unity. So over here, if I want to make a quick adjustment to this animation, I just need to open up Humotion, then let's create a new humanoid animation. And now here, I can select this game object. Then over here, I can import the clips. So I open up the animation and import it. So here it is, the same animation working in this editor. And on this one, it does have a proper workflow for editing the animation. So I can click a bone, I can rotate it in any way that I want, I can keep some modifications, create some keys, and so on. Then after editing, I just need to export this animation, and if here is the new edited animation. So if you want to edit humanoid animations inside Unity, check out the S link in the description. It's actually on sale right now. And now you also know how to take animations marked as read-only and make them editable. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.